Hi, I'm Marina at LitMaps, here to share with you how to visualize your research story using literature maps. If you'd like to visualize your literature review so that it looks something like this, then keep watching. The first step to visualizing your research with LitMaps is to find all the relevant articles on your topic and compile them into a single lit map. If you've already done your literature review or you've already started, you can import those existing articles into lit maps directly. Otherwise, you can watch our other videos to learn how to search for articles using lit maps. To create a lit map from research you've already collected, click import at the top left of the app. Here you can import an entire file of articles like a BibTeX, RIS, or PubMed file. You can also do a manual import like using DOIs, or IDs from different websites like Archive or Open Alex, as well as APA citation style. Here I've imported a BibTeX, and once that's done, I'll go ahead and click Explore Related Articles. This lit map automatically takes all the articles I've imported and runs a lit map search on them. I can immediately start exploring and expanding my research library if I'd like. Click the back button to exit explore mode and just view the existing articles on your lit map. From here, we can now adjust this visualization to really tell our research story. The first way we can adjust our map is by changing the axes. You can click on the X or Y axis to change how articles are sorted. By default, lit maps are sorted based on date of publication on the X axis and the number of citations per paper on the Y axis. By sorting based on date and citation count, we can quickly identify which papers are really high impact and which ones are newer. We often find that at the top left of our visualization, we have very high impact articles that have many, many citations and tend to be older. You can look towards the bottom right of your visualization to see what's the newest work that you've reviewed, but you can also change these axes based on different measures. By clicking on the X axis, I'm given all these different options as to how I can sort my lip map. Take for example, map connectivity. If I sort by this, the map will be ordered based on how interconnected every article is. This can be a great way to visualize which piece of work is most central to your literature review. I can also sort based on reference count or a custom lit maps measure called momentum. Momentum adjusts for a natural bias that exists among all papers. That the older paper is, the more citations it has, and the newer paper is, the less it has. Momentum adjusts the citation count based on how recent the paper was published. So this lets us identify which new papers have an actually surprising amount of citations given how new they are. You can also adapt how intense that bias is accounted for by moving the cursor left and right. You can adjust your visualization by changing how articles appear. By default, all articles will have this gray color, but you can add specific tags. Use tags to keep track of different subtopics and bring your entire literature review to life. To tag an article, click on it, hit tag, and assign it a category. You can also describe any themes or concepts in your map by using labels. There are two kinds of labels in lit maps. One are titles, which you can add over your map. Click the text sign at the top of the map and add a title. You can also update the labels that show up under each article. To do this, click on an article and click the paintbrush icon. From here, you can hit the label icon and adjust what special label comes up above this article. You can also give articles special icons and special colors. To change the article's outer color or to give it a special halo, click on the halo button next to the label icon. This will make the outer ring of the article appear a different color. Lastly, you can add an icon that overlays on the article. Click on the paintbrush again and the icon button and change it to one of the existing icons or a custom letter. You can also visualize additional articles that don't yet exist. To add a custom article that's not in the LitMaps database, you can go to the top of your map and click Add. On the far left, click Custom and hit New Custom Article. From here, you can input either an existing article that's not in the database or a new proposed work. Now I can add this brand new article to my map by clicking on it and clicking Add to LitMap. The final step is to share your work. You can share a lit map by a URL or email by clicking share at the top right and copying this link or clicking share to email address. You can also share images of your lit map and include them in your published work. To share, simply click the screenshot icon at the bottom right 
and adjust the different export parameters. Now I can use this litmap image wherever I discuss my literature review so that readers and listeners have a better idea of what my research really looks like and what it covers. Litmaps are a powerful way to visualize and share your research story. If you have any questions or comments about using Litmaps visualizations, then drop us a comment below and check out the other resources in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you on the app soon.